What's up? This is Ian Tech. Today we'll, re we'll be reviewing the Logitech K120 and the Mouse M100. Let's get to it. First we'll be starting with the M100 Mouse. It's a Logitech brand and it's looking pretty nice. So we got a, it's a USB right here. And the packaging's pretty, it's pretty bad, honestly. It looks like I got a toy, and then, like, they, you know, like, when you get a toy, and it's, like, a vacuum sealed, and it's in this packaging where it has this, and then you put it on the rack, and stuff. It looks pretty bad. Um, I like how it's sealed, though. That's, that's pretty nice. Alright, so it says it's designed for left or right-handed use, which is very nice. Um, smooth cursor control, that's nice, too. Uh, no hassle, no software, no setup. That's pretty nice, too. There's no RGB on this, which makes it, um, probably, like, ten times better. Because if there was a bad RGB mouse, it would be, you know, ten times worse. All right, so. All right. So now that we have the packaging off, I'm looking at this mouse, and I'm really noticing it's... It's not too... Wait, one second. Let me get this out. I really like the feel. Let's see. It's It fits my hand really nice. I like small, light mouses. This is just that. The scroll is nice. Wait. You could press it, too. This is nice. The laser thing's simple. It's just one little laser, you know. The, I like the design right here. Logitech. All right, so this mouse for packaging, I give it two stars and for the overall feel i give it probably a seven star but let's go to the mouse pad i'll see you there so now i'm on the mouse pad okay it has it has a decent glide but it, it's kind of feeling like it's hurting my ears because of this things i don't know what like when you compare it to like let's say an alienware mouse okay it has these things but they're nicely designed, you know, so it could glide better, like this. This feels nice, but this kind of, this just feels wrong. You know, I'm taking, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the star away. I give it a 6 out of 10. Star. Now we'll be opening up the K120. Uh, this is a Logitech keyboard, I'm assuming not for gaming, but it, it looks like it's probably for typing and for work. But let's open this puppy. Okay, so honestly, this packaging is much better than the mouse. The mouse packaging, you know, that vacuum seal. Okay, whoa ho ho. It has a USB. Comes with a little manual. Or maybe this isn't a manual. Uh, comes in English and Spanish. Is that it? I believe so. Uh, okay, so we open it up, and honestly, it's kind of unstable. Oh, that's just because it's on that? Okay, so this is, actually, I could see this for gaming. I don't know why I don't, but yeah, this is not for typing. These need to be a little bit spaced out. Honestly, you could, but you're going to end up being messed up so many times because it's not straightened out. It's not straightened out, and it's an, and there's no space in between the keys. If they're too close, you're going to always end up messing up when you type. Now, that's bad because, first of all, you're going to mess up on all your essays. You're going to have to install Grammarly, and no one wants to do that. Second of all, if you want to game on this thing, no, just don't do it. It's pretty awful. Right now, we'll compare it to the Alienware. <clears throat> I'm not sure what Alienware this is, but it's about the same size. And honestly, this would be better in typing. I'm not sure what switches these have, but these have cherry red switches. And this is not mechanical. Yeah, this isn't mechanical. So there's no switches. So I don't suggest it. Don't get this keyboard. Overall, the Logitech mouse uh, for gaming is 
not your best choice. You could go with a um, Corsair or something like that for just maybe like a double the price. And the price was actually pretty cheap. It was just $10. Corsair sells mice that are like $27.25. So that would be a better choice. Overall, for drag clicking, this was not too bad. On the Alienware here, it's still really good for drag clicking, but on this, actually, I would maybe suggest this for gaming. The drag clicking is really good. For gaming, this, I know this is going to sound kind of weird, but I suggest this. Minecraft, this, this would judged. be, Minecraft, yeah. this would work. Uh, Valorant, this would work. I mean, I feel like the keys are just, like, so responsive. The only problem that I have is that, see here, you, you see all the keys, right? You see the keys? The letters are over here for some reason. Like, on the, on the Alienware, you look at the M, it's just the, the letters in the middle just makes it feel way more better. But the only thing that can make this, like, better, I would say, is maybe to, and I know this is sounding kind of weird, but make this a um 75% keyboard with all these keys and stuff that would be pretty nice what i do like is that it has all these cool uh things over here page up page down end home insert delete print screen scroll lock pause break they didn't just do a cheap job and put like a pause and like just like crap like that but this feels nice too Every everything here i i do not have a problem with Overall, I think this is this keyboard for gaming. I give a solid eight, no, seven and a half stars. That's what I give it. See you guys and see you on the next episode of Ian Tech Tips.